In this problem, we want to solve the, each absolute value equation. So I got the absolute value of negative 7x minus 1 is equal to 9. Now notice the absolute value is by itself on the left side, so it's perfect form. What's inside your absolute value is your p, the other side is your q. Our formula says p is equal to q and p is equal to negative q. Now everywhere we have a p in our formula, we'll plug in negative 7x minus 1, and everywhere we have a q, we'll plug in 9. So we've got negative 7x minus 1 is equal to 9, and negative 7x minus 1 is equal to negative 9. Now we want to solve for x. First step, get rid of parentheses, don't have any. Second step, get rid of fractions, don't have any. Third step, get everything with an x on one side and numbers on the other. So take negative 1 to the right side. And when you take anything across your equals, your sign changes, so the negative 1 becomes a positive 1. Now our note up at the top says combine together numbers in a step. 9 plus 1 is 10. Uh, last step in solving linear equations. Divide both sides by a number in front of our x, which is negative 7. So we divide both sides by negative 7. And that gives us x is equal to negative 10 sevenths. Let's solve the other one. Same steps. First step, get rid of parentheses, don't have any. Second step, get rid of fractions, don't have any. Third step, get everything with an x on one side and numbers on the other. So I'll take negative 1 to the right side. And it becomes a positive 1. Combine together numbers in any step. Negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. Last step, divide both sides by a number in front of your x. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 7. Those negative 7s will cancel, and we got x equals, and these negatives will cancel, and we got x is equal to 8 sevenths. And those are our answers.